Hello and welcome to the Whiskey Closet. Up next, OKI. This is batch one. Okay, it's OKI Reserve Blended Bourbon Whiskey Batch 01. It's 100 proof, and it is interesting. It has a low rye bourbon, which is 8 to 10 years old, a high rye bourbon, which is 3 to 8 years old, a 95.5 rye whiskey, which is 9 years old, a rye corn whiskey, 9 years old, and a light whiskey, 10 years old. From what I understand, all of these are from the MGP distillery. It says distilled in Lawrenceburg, Indiana, right on the back of the bottle. Bottled by OKI Bourbon in Bardstown, Kentucky. Let's get into this, and we'll talk a little more about OKI later. Oh my gosh. Holy shnikes. That it smells unlike anything. Oh my gosh, it has this super rich character, like deep, dark kind of caramel notes, but at the same time, it is cut with this, I don't even, I don't know, super sweet. You know what? This reminds me a little bit of barrel seagrass. I love the way that this smells. Man, let's taste it. That's incredible. Wow. <laughs> That's amazing. There is so much happening there. It is outrageously sweet, a uh, very pure, just perfect sweetness, honey kind of sweetness, shockingly straightforward, just mm, sweet. And then it transitions and you get the barrel influence starts to appear. This spicy character starts to appear, but it doesn't get aggressive at all. There is all of this fruit kind of notes, like maybe a sort of an apricot kind of, kind of fruit. Kind of maybe an apricot thing on the nose too. Ooh, I'm not sure if apricot is necessarily the perfect word, but whatever, it's not the, It's not like I'm hunting for it. It is super predominant. The, the finish is so unique because you get spice and you get barrel impact. You get like a flash of dryness and then it goes back to sweet. And the finish is really long, and the finish is crazy mouth-watering. And that barrel hit, but the sweetness is coming out underneath it. That's wild. Okay, so I tried this at a bar, and I remember when I tried it thinking, this might be the best bourbon I've ever had. And then I was so excited when I found this bottle. And I opened the bottle, and I had a taste, and I was like, okay. That was just the bar making me think it was that good. Cause when I had the very first pour out of the bottle, it was just, it was way more dry than I remembered. And I wasn't getting a lot of the complexity and journey and ride that I remembered having. Boy, am I getting that again tonight. Maybe the bottle needed a second. Maybe I needed to taste something before it. This is so unique and so complex without being aggressive. It's amazing that something can be doing as much as this seems to be doing without getting overly aggressive. It's incredibly sweet though. So that's something to keep in mind. I'm very, the sweetness is what's really hitting me strong right now. Oh, it's gotta be all that rye. That's giving it that really, really intense sweetness. But there's so much charred oak in there that's balancing the sweetness. And it's also so rich. Wow, that is a really, really good whiskey. Okay, you kind of can't talk about OKI without talking a little bit of history. OKI is a brand that was originally New Riff Distilling. Before New Riff had their own distillate, they were sourcing and selling it under the OKI label. And then they discontinued the OKI brand once they had their own distillate and they're the new riff that we all know and love today. And then somebody else came along and purchased OKI. 
OKI stands for Ohio, Kentucky, Indiana. And uh, the people who have purchased it have been they're planning on continuing in that vein. Going to be sort of doing something across all three of those states, which is an interesting little gimmick. OK, since this is up next with OKI, I'm going to compare it to what I tasted in the last video, which was Pursuit United. Well, that smells very nice. Boy, that smells really good. These are much more similar than I ever would have guessed on the nose. <laughs> this is shocking. I thought these were gonna be so different. Woo! It drinks hot, spicy and dry. From the nose too, I was thinking that's the Pursuit United. Wow. Wow, that has a long, spicy, dry finish. Whew. All right, let's move into two. Oh, whoa, okay. See, now that is what I was expecting. That crazy apricot sweetness is jumping out of the glass now. Oh my gosh, that smells so good. Wow. Huh, if anything, the oak impact has been really enhanced by comparing it to the Pursuit, which is the opposite of what I would have expected because I got so much dry oak and spice out of the Pursuit tasting it just now. I would have thought that then all that sweetness from the OKI might have been enhanced, and then I was afraid that might have turned me off the OKI if it was a little too sweet, but that's not what happened. Instead, I'm getting more oak impact out of the OKI right now. Again, assuming that this is the OKI, which I mean, it just has to be. This, oh, it has such a beautiful charred oak nose too. Mmm, that's just, that is excellent. So glass two is my favorite of these two, and it's the OKI, it sure is. So there you go. This has been another episode of Up Next with OKI, and another episode of The Whiskey Closet. Thank you again for watching, and I will see you again next time. Goodbye.